Welcome to Learning uh, SQL or SQL with uh, Dr. William A. King Jr. And that's me. Um, I plan to take you through a quick tutorial and showing you how to use some basic SQL commands and then uh, throughout a series of videos I'll show you how to use uh, these commands that I'm going to demonstrate in here in uh, both Microsoft SQL Server and in uh, MySQL. Both MySQL and Microsoft SQL Server uh, express our free database engines. You can uh, find the Microsoft SQL Server Express at Microsoft.com slash SQL Server slash 2008 uh, and and following that will be your language or you can just go to microsoft.com and then type SQL uh, Server Express 2008 they do have a 2005 you can still download you'll find that link but uh, 2008 will uh, be the newest version uh, Microsoft I mean I'm sorry MySQL uh, if you go to www.mysql uh, dot com you will find the uh, MySQL version of database engine. Uh, MySQL is open source which means that uh, it's very powerful and it's extremely popular especially on the web uh, so it could be uh, ran in the in enterprise or in a business whereas Microsoft SQL Express has limitations. Uh, the other limitations is that Microsoft SQL Express will uh, go back one. Uh, Microsoft SQL Express will only run on the Windows uh, platform. So if you have a Macintosh or if you have a Linux box, you need to run MySQL. MySQL will run on all three platforms. Okay so when you go out to mysql.com you will find a download button go to that button and t it'll take you to uh, an area where you choose the uh, installation that you need for your local machine I'm not going to take you through a tutorial on how to install either mysql or uh, Microsoft SQL Express just simply follow the instructions uh, uh, that they present on the screen to install them on your local machine uh, now I say local machine so that means that you don't need a server to run a SQL Server database engine on your machine uh, such as MySQL or SQL Server Express. With uh, SQL Server Express you will need the SQL Server uh, database management uh, tool which is separate from the SQL Server itself uh, in order for you to do queries and so forth. Uh, and the same thing with uh, MySQL, they have a separate tool for you to download to be able to access uh, the database using a user interface. Uh, there are two versions. There is the desktop uh, version that I have installed on my Windows machine and then there's the browser base version. Uh, either one of these is very powerful uh, if you're going to get into uh, developing web pages using either MySQL or uh, SQL Server Express, uh, both will run on your local machine and you can access the uh, data uh, base through your web page using either one. Uh, when I do my demonstrations, I'll use uh, a Microsoft SQL Express and show you how to write code in your web pages to be able to access the data that's in the database. Okay, let's get started. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some SQL commands and we're going to discuss uh, those commands. Uh, the first uh, commands that we're going to look at is, uh, is commands that define database structures. We have create table, alter table, drop table, uh, create index, alter index, drop index, uh, create view, and drop view. Uh, we'll go over those a little bit later in another uh, video, but I want to introduce you to these, so write these down. 
in a separate notebook and we'll go over those later. Uh, other commands is manipulating commands. So the first commands that we have is is commands that define the database structure. So you can create a table or alter that table or drop a table. Create indexes and uh, alter them and then drop them and then create a view or drop a view. So you have uh, creating tables, creating indexes, creating views. And then you can drop tables, you can drop views, you can drop indexes. Okay. You can alter indexes and alter tables, but you can't alter views. And I will discuss, with, uh, uh, describe to you what all those mean. So in the manipulating data, you have an insert command, update, and delete. And basically what that means is that you already have data in your uh, tables, and you're using these commands to, uh, to manipulate the data that's currently there. Now, uh, we have also another command that's called a selecting uh, command, or select command which actually uh, when used can go out into your uh, database uh, tables or in, into your tables and retrieve information based on your select statement. Okay, And then we have uh, table attributes, uh, a field, a record or row, a column, the primary key, and a null value. Now those are extremely important to know because uh, if you ever get into uh, creating databases and someone asks you what a field is or what a record is, uh, they have uh, two different but yet similar terminologies. A, uh, a field is, is the smaller, uh, uh, is a uh, is the area within a table that contains uh, your uh, your information or your your data. So a field is a column in the table that is designated to maintain a specific amount of information. Uh, how could I say that? For example, uh, if you have a table that have products in it, then you will have a field in that table that could be called products, okay, or product description, or cost, and that's a field. Uh, so it contains specific information uh, about your table. Now a record is a row, okay or a, I have in here, you got a field, you got a record slash row. A record is also called a row and uh, is the horizontal entry within your database. Now I should have put a, uh, a uh, example of that in here, but I'll, I'll show you that a little bit later. But it's the horizontal. When you think about a record, when you look at a database, a record is the row that goes across. It's your horizontal. A column is what goes down. Okay, it's the vertical uh, entity within a table. Okay, a field is the individual pieces within the table. A row or record is what goes horizontal. A column is what goes down. And then a primary key is a column that makes each row of data unique. It's a unique I'd like for example most people create a ID. Uh, they name the the uh, the field ID or record ID and make it the primary key and make it auto increment and so that way every time an entry is added into a record uh, the next record that's added is auto increment to a new number. And then you have a null value. Null value is uh, represents a missing uh, value within a field.